Hi, my students. Today we are discussing about class 12 physics chapter number four, moving charge and magnetism. In this chapter, in this lecture, we will discussing about that the Ampere's law. So this is in this lecture we will discussing about that the Ampere's law. So see here, what is Ampere's law and where is used. Now see here the definition of Ampere. The force between two parallel wires can be used to define the Ampere's when the magnetic of force per unit length between two long parallel wires that carries initial current R and R separated by 1 meter is 2, 2 into 10 to minus 7 newton per meter. The current in each wire is defined to be 1 amperes. Okay, so see here there are the magnetic force between two, two, pa two parallel conductors, two, two parallel wires each carries steady currents. Okay, it's carry steady current I1 and I2. See here there are the two current I1 and I2 are there. There are the force and the magnetic force and electric force are there. So B2 and B1, B2 and F1, the field B2 due to the current in the wire to exert the magnetic force of magnitude F1 is equal to I1 L B2 on wire 1. So the field B2 due to the current in wire to exert a force on wire 1 is equal to F1 I1 L B2. So see here the magnetic force between two parallel conductors substituting the equation for the magnetic field B2 gives the F1 it is equal to mu0 I1 I2 divided by the 2 pi A into L. The parallel conductor carrying current in the same direction attract each other. Parallel conductor carrying current in opposite direction repel to each other. What is that? A parallel conductor carrying current in the same direction attract to each other and parallel conductor carrying current in opposite direction repel to each other. So see here there are the what is that current same direction on the time attractions are there and the, as current in a di opposite direction in this phenomena here in the, there are the same direction on that time it is an attractive force and suppose it, it has a minor uh, opposite directions are there on the time what is that it is a repel to each other. Now see the magnetic force between two parallel conductors the resultant is often expressed as the magnetic force between two wires Fb. This can also be given as the force per unit length. So Fb by R it is equal to mu0 into I1 I2 upon 2 pi. The derivation assume both the wires are long compared with their separations and distance. So only one wire needs to be long. The equation accurately describes the force exert on the each other by long wire and straight parallel wire of limit length L other. So now see here the as definition of coulombs the as a unit of charge the coulomb is defined term of amperes when a conductor carrying a steady current of one ampere the quantity of charge that flow through cross sections of the conductor is one second is one coulomb okay to so see here this is our scientist andre mary amperes 1775 to 1836 friend is a, he, he is a french physicist Credited with the discovery of the electromagnetism, the relationship between electric and the magnetic field also work in a mathematics. So the, uh, he, was, he was our scientist of this, like, this of Ampere's law. So magnetic field for a long straight wire conductor directions. The magnetic field lines are circle. See here the magnetic field lines are circle concentric with the wire. The field lines lies in the planes perpendicular to wire. Plane field lines field line lies lie in a planes perpendicular to wires so the magnetic field of the uh, magnetic magnitude of the field is constant on any circle of radius a the right hand rules of determining the direction of the field is shown see here the right hand th rules see here this is our right hand thumb th rules of the determine the direction of the field so see it will be used as the uh, mag magnetic field directions okay so see the magnitude of the field is constant of any circle of radiation A. So the right hand rule of determining the direction of field is shown in figure. So see here the magnetic field of wire a compulse can be used to detect the magnetic field. When there is a no current in the wire there is a no field due to the current. But there is a current there is a current then there, uh, there is a also fields due to the current. So the compulse needles all point toward the earth's north pole due to the earth's magnetic field. But whenever the here the wire carries the strong current, the compass needle deflect in a directions of see here in directions of direction of the tangent to the circle. This is so the direction of the magnetic field. See here magnetic field produced 
magnetic field produced by the wire see here this is our magnetic field produced by the wire so if the current is is reverse in the direction the needle also in the reverse directions are there so the magnetic field of wire finally the circular magnetic field around the wire is shown in figure c this look like this phenomena we can see in this figure now see here the ampere's law the product of b into ds it is ds can be evaluated for small length element ds on the circular path defined by the compass needle for the long straight wire ampere's law state that the lines integral of b into ds around any closed path equals to mu zero into i where i is the total steady current passing through the any surface bounded by the closed path so as here i is our total steady current passing through the any any surface bounded by the closed path it means there are the closed path closed circular path are there so ampere law describe the creations of magnetic field by all continuous current configurations it is ampere's law describe the creation of magnetic field by all continuous current configuration now most useful of this course if, if the current configuration has a high degree of symmetry put the thumb on right hand in the direction of current through the amperian loop and also this loop is known as amperian loop and your fingers curl in the direction of should integrate around the loop so we will get that the values of magnetic directions of magnetic field now field due to the long straight wire from amperes loop so the field due to the long uh, long straight wire for amperes law we will see here the calculate the magnetic field at distance r from the center of wire the carry stay and uh, wire carrying a steady current i the current is uniformly distributed through the cross section of wire since the wire has a high degree of symmetry the problem can be characterized as ampere's laws problems so for r is greater than r this would be should be the same result obtained from the bauer's ampere's law okay so see here the ampere's law the several applications such simplify version proves that the sufficient we solve assume that in such case it is possible to choose the loop called the ampere's law such that each point of the loop either either b is a tangent tangential or tens tensile to the loop and is non zero constant b or b is normal second is b is normal to the loop or third is the b is vanishes now let l be the length of loop of wire b is in it in it is tangent tensile i is let i i be the current enclosed by the loop then equations becomes bl reduced to bl it is equals to mu 0 into i so where there is a symmetry see, there is a system with the symmetry such as for state infinite current carrying wires so the ampere's law enable an easy evaluation of the magnetic field much the way is was the helps in the determination of the electric field this is exhibit in the now the boundary of the loop and chosen in the circle and the magnetic field is tensile to the uh, circumference of the circle the law gives of the left hand side okay so the above result of the infinite wire is is interesting from a several point of view okay it is a several point of view interest so it implies that the field every point on circle of radius r okay is same in the magnitude in other words the magnetic magnetic field process with the what is called a cylindrical symmetry the field that normally can depends on three coordinates depends only on r where there is a symmetry the solution simplify second is that the field directions at see here the second is the field direction at any point on the uh, on the circle is tensile tensile to it thus the lines constant magnitude of magnetic field from concentric circle so 
the ion feelings from the concentric circle this lie is called the magnetic field line from the closed loop this is unlike electrostatic field line which originate from positive charge and negative charge so the expressions for the magnetic field of a straight wire provides the theoretical justification is Oersted's experiment it is a as proved by the Oersted's experiment and another intrinsic intrinsic one point is that even though wire is infinite even wire even uh, even though the wire is infinite the field due to its non zero distance is non is not fine infinite it tends to below up only when we come at very close to wire the field is directly proportional to the current and inversely proportional to the distance from the current source okay so there is a axis of the simple rule to determine the direction of the magnetic field due to the long wire this is called the right hand rule and this is it grabs the wire on your right hand with your extended thumbs putting in the directions of the current your finger will curl around in the directions of the magnetic field so ampere you know, ampere circular circuital law is not new to con content from bayer's law both relate the magnetic field and the current and the both express the same physical consequence of the steady electric current so ampere law is it is to bayer's law ampere's law law is to bayer's law what what's gauss law is to coulomb's law both the amperes and gauss law relate a physical quantity of the principal uh, periphery of or boundary to another physical quantities okay so the here the field due to the strong strong state long state wire result from the ampere law outside of the radius r r is greater than r on the time integration of b into ds it is equals to b into 2 by r so mu zero into i so we will get that the b is equals to mu zero i upon 2 by r now see here what will happen suppose so here inside the wire we need i the current is inside the ampere and circle on that time b into ds is equals to v0 v into 2 pi r mu 0 i i dash is equals to i r square upon capital r square into i so we will get that the b is equals to mu 0 i upon 2 pi r square to r so see here field due to the strong strong sorry field due to the long straight wire the resultant summary the field is proportional to r inside the wire see here r inside the wire it is a directly proportional to that and when the field varies as one upon r outside the wire on that time both the equations r it is equals to r both equations are equal where it is a r it is equals to r so see here these our graphs are there okay when our whenever when the our wire is long straight wire on the time it is very look like that so see here in this this is our wires okay so in this wire phenomena we have the magnetic field is very inside the wire it is a b b is directly proportional to r and the outside the wire it is a proportional to one upon one upon r the magnetic field of a toroid then after we will discussing about that the solenoid okay so see here this is our ampere's law so if any kind of problems if any kind of doubt in this lectures then comment in the comment box thank you guys thank you so much